we have created our program and assigned the data elements to our program, but we have not yet defined how these data elements will be grouped together and appear to those using our program to enter data. Let us create our event program data entry form so we can define this more clearly. We will select the program once again from the program management screen to proceed. Now all the data elements are assigned and configured. Let's move to the next step, creating a data entry form. Select the Create Data Entry Form tab. There are three choices, Basic, Section, or Custom Forms. If you choose a basic form, you can select the order the data elements will appear in the Event Capture Form. Section forms allow you to organize the data elements on the event capture screen by different sections. While custom forms allow you to design the data entry form using an editor, allowing you to apply JavaScript or HTML for advanced form editing purposes. For this example, we will choose the section form. This will allow us to group relevant data elements together. Section forms are a good choice when possible, as they allow for some control over how data elements are grouped and displayed, while also requiring minimal maintenance compared to a custom form. We want to create two sections in our example, patient details and admission details. If we go back to our paper form, we can essentially see that the form is divided into two broad sections. We have patient details, as well as the admission details on the form itself. The current residence will be taken care of as the feature type of point in our particular form, so we do not need to worry about adding a different section for this information. In order to add a section, click on the blue plus icon. The first section will be our patient details section. Once we have added the name for the section, we can go ahead and click on add. We can repeat this process for the second section. Click on the blue plus icon, give the section a name, and click on add in order to add the section. You can change the order of the section by clicking and holding on the orange menu button on the left hand side of each section. After you have done this, you can drag and drop the section in the order you want the items to display. You can also edit each section name by clicking on the pen icon next to the section name. Now we need to add the data elements to the sections. To do this, select the Patient Details section. Notice that the section is now highlighted with a thicker black bar around the edges. This means we can add data elements from the Available Data Elements column on the right to the section that we have selected. Select the data elements from the right side menu by clicking on the plus sign next to each data element name in the order that you wish them to appear in the form. In the Patient Details section, we want sex, pregnant, age, height, and weight to appear in that order. It is also possible to change the order around when you have the data elements added to the section by clicking on the orange button and then moving the data elements around in the order that you want them to appear. Secondly, click on the Admission Details section. Now we can assign the data elements that belong to this section. We can assign date of admission, 
the ICD-10 diagnosis, date of discharge, and the mode of discharge, all to this section. With this completed, we can save our changes to the program. Now that we are done assigning the data elements to the section form, we can move on to the next step. Before we do that though, please pause here to complete the associated activities to ensure understanding of how to create a section form and assign data elements to the sections that have been created.